it's Warp Jester, and welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Does Minecraft SMP Style on the Ball Rocket Gaming Server. Uh, I have completely lost track of what episode this is, so um, it's whatever the number is down there below. Yeah, so anyways, welcome. Uh, sorry, I've been a little while since I've done recordings. Uh, I kind of covered this in my uh, EverQuest uh, series. I've been having a lot of uh, real-life uh, stuff going on and trying to take care of all that, and it's been kind of busy and difficult... So, long story short, I haven't had time to make uh, recordings or even edit them for the ones I actually have recorded. So I apologize, I'm going to try to get back in the groove of things. I'm hoping some uh, good news will come through and my life will simplify a little bit. But, nevertheless, uh, moving on. Uh, lots of stuff been done. Um, I've, I've had a little time here and there to work, but I'll be honest with you, uh, most of... Uh, most of the time I've had in front of the computer has been taken up with uh, working on the next iteration of the uh, Ball Rocket Gaming Mod Pack. We're actually going to be moving to uh, a 1.6 version of the Mod Pack. And so Turgo and I have been working tirelessly uh, on getting basically all of the mods we have now updated and functional with 1.6 and then looking into a list, a bevy of new mods we want, we want to add to our Mod Pack. Um, Leave just kind of a quick uh, high pass on it. Um, most of the mods we have in this mod pack are going to be staying. However, we are going to lose a few of them, part due to just they're not updating or they're redundant or they don't need them anymore or whatever the case may be. The big one is going to be Greg Tech. I remember the last time I talked, uh, I talked about having to make that decision between Tinkers versus Greg Tech. And the fact of the matter is, is uh, we're moving to. Uh, Industrial Craft uh, Experimental, which has got a lot more complexity. It's a lot more interesting. Uh, addition to that, Greg Tech, it, it's, it's always got problems in terms of it tweaks with things people don't like or it has conflicts with the mods that it shouldn't really have conflicts with. The guy, the Greg kind of carries a, a... People kind of label him as, as, as a... Uh, 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 an unkind word. <laughs> um, I don't know how he is in real life. I've obviously never met him. But uh, there's some little things like, you know, technically we can't release this mod pack to the public because one of the cardinal rules is you can't alter the mod pack itself. You can do configuration files, but you can't alter the mod pack, which I understand and respect for the most part. Uh, in Greg's case, however, we run the TechIt launcher. He doesn't like TechIt launcher. So he specifically, specifically puts code in the mod pack to break or crash your system if you try to use a ticket launcher. Um, so because of that, we can't release it to the public, and that's kind of a pain. So that said, uh, one of the big pushes we're doing this time around for the 1.6 is we actually want to have this mod pack available to you guys, so you guys can actually pick up our mod pack and play with it. We put a lot of time and effort into this mod pack, and we want to be able to uh, uh, share it with the world. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be taking care of that in terms of uh, trying to make a public mod pack, and that's our hope. Uh, depending on what mods we put in, of course, you know, the proper permissions from all of the uh, modders. Um, we'll then create a mod pack, and then we'll actually be able to uh, share it publicly so you guys can download it and play with it and try it out. So that's kind of our hope. Um, beyond that, uh, like I said, that, that's pretty much been all-consuming. Uh, that's probably a few months away at least. Depends on how long it takes us to get uh, the, the base pack done and start deciding on what add-ons we want to have. We do want to have a few good add-ons. Uh, specifically, we want to have uh, more magic put into this. I actually like to put a lot more magic into this because it's very tech-heavy, and people have expressed that they want to have a little more variation. That's perfectly fine by me. I'm not a big magic person, as you guys know. Uh, but I can certainly see having a little variety in there. And so one of the things I'm going to be doing... Ooh, mushrooms for sale. Neat. VST always finds interesting ways to get blocks that normally you can't get. And she finds ways to make them gettable. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so we're going to be adding a variety of magic stuff. Uh, there's uh, hopefully some, if not all, of the mods for magic I want to add in are going to be... Uh, let's see here... Uh, ours magic, well, first of all, Thumbcraft is going to get updated, so we're going to have Thumbcraft 4.1 as a part of our mod pack, which is going to be really cool. Um, oh, but I've got more room than, or more stuff than space. Okay, let's move some room here. Uh, don't mind the eggs. Uh, just just ignore the eggs. We'll talk about the eggs later. <laughs> when a man's got eggs in his inventory, especially in that quantity, 
No good can come of this. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I wanted some more variety of magic, so we're going to have uh, Thumbcraft 4, or 4.1. Uh, so that's going to be an update from the current Thumbcraft 3 we have. Um, it's going to have a little more stuff to it, so that's going to be fun, variety. Uh, we're also thinking about adding Ars Magica 2, uh, another real fun magic mod that uh, has a different take on the same kind of premise. Uh, we're also looking at two others as a possible candidates, uh, which is going to be uh, Blood Magic, as well as uh, the Witchery mod. So lots of lots of fun there for magic. We also have some other cool mods coming along, but I'll, I'll talk about that more when we get closer to it. Um, anyways, uh, update on the server. As I said, I have not been around very much, so I have not had the opportunity to... Uh, uh, do much on here. Some stuff has happened. I haven't. I don't think I've really shown this off. This is actually Viesti's doing. She wanted to have a nice little archway coming into, uh, coming into our city. This is all uh, carpentry blocks, so you can actually do some very neat shapes and style with it. Uh, Rurik's uh, comment is, no, no, it's very pretty, but no, it's not Minecraft, <laughs> which I can agree, it's very different. So there's that that's been done there. Viesti's been doing a lot. She's been so helpful. So much stuff done. Uh, finishing off a lot of the projects I start, and I, I just I can never give her enough props for it. Um, another thing, uh, this is a few things I've actually done around here. I had a little time to work on the uh, strip mall here. There's a couple things I want to show you. Uh, one I just breezed right by. I'm trying to get the laundromat finished up here. We've got a row of uh, washing machines. And again, these washing machines are from, uh, I think, the Jammies Furniture Mod. So you can actually throw your your uh, armor in there and it'll actually repair it. Only vanilla armors, though. No, none of the special stuff. Uh, seems a little cheapy, cheaty, but eh. I mean, we've got you know readily available XP, so I could use repair on it and use some diamonds. But those are readily available, too. So six one half dozen. Uh, got the flooring or the uh, parking lot put in here. And you can see right here, I've got this little... <laughs> little proper ramp there. Uh, this is again done with the uh, carpentry mod. These blocks right here are actually uh, what they call collapsible blocks. They're blocks that you can hit with a hammer and slowly deform them by uh, 16, 16 uh, uh, placements. So that's kind of cool. So I got them kind of lined out here so look like the typical little ramps you see for pulling in. Again, it's, it's, it's aesthetic. It's fun. It's just kind of fun to derp around here. Uh, so I got some of that done. Um, Beyond that, the only thing I've really worked on is the subway. And again, this is one of those things where I start it and VSD goes ham bone and helps me out by getting things done. So we've actually got the the subway accesses here. All done here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot through this real quick. Um, my, my intention and hope is that we can add a train craft for no other reason than they got some really pretty looking carts that I can use for uh, uh, the subway. They have a New York subway uh, train cart. looks really good. VSC has done a fabulous job. She cleaned up the curves for me and make them a little more roundy, curvy. And then she even got this to work out, which is great. The tunnel goes down. Look at that. Diagonal all the way down. Still a perfect shape. I think that's pretty epic right there. <laughs> so, yeah, she's, she has become the master of carpentry. So, yeah, we're going to have a um, bunch of subways here. It, it, it's a little bit kind of silly in the sense that you can, you know, if anybody's got fast transit like I've got my jetpack, it's almost easier to just fly, run, whatever, wherever you need to go. But just for the sake of fun and new people coming online, we're actually going to have the subway line running under this street right here. So it's got a stop right up here next to the church, as you saw. Uh, the last stop I just came out of is right in front of City Hall. Then we're going to have one more stop uh, over by the industrial zone, that direction. And one more stop back this way. Sorry for the slow load. My computer's been having little complications lately. Um... We're actually going to have a stop that goes all the way back. It actually cuts straight out, then cuts uh, 90 degrees because this way under this road right here, all the way back to our spawn point. So when you come in to spawn, this will be the first place you land on, and you'll actually have a subway tunnel entrance. So you can go down underground here and pick up the subway and just tube it into town. <laughs> so that's pretty much a lot of uh, a lot of what I've done. Uh, again, I I pretty much kind of started the tunnel. Did a little bit to get the idea, the concept down. And then VSD just <laughs> goes through and does it all. So, again, absolute sweetheart. Wonderful, wonderful woman. And she is just absolutely stellar. So, again, uh, sorry for not having videos and all that. It's, it has been it has been a real 
real hard time for me. I've been, like I said, so busy. It's getting so much stuff done. Oh, I did uh, outline this road, and again, VSD finished for me. This road actually wraps up and around and then goes out to uh, uh, City Hall here, wraps around City Hall. Um, likewise, she's got a road that connects that god awful bridge, which I'm going to completely tear down. Eh, that's an ugly bridge. <laughs> she did the entire road all the way down. So. Anyways, uh, to dos, to dos, to dos. Lots of to dos. I have added a few to dos to my list um, in terms of what I want to get done. Um, one thing I do want to do, as I've said before, that the hub city that we're, we're in here, I've kind of started start calling it the hub city because as other cities start branching out, this is going to be the central point that they'll come to. Um, the intention always was to have, you know, get rid of that workshop and have industries here. So we've got the data center, we've got the water works that uh, Turgo hasn't had time to work on because he's, like me, been busy, even more so than me. Uh, I've got BRGI here um, that VSD created. And again, I, I want to get you guys inside and show you a tour of it, but I want to wait until VSD's free so she can actually walk us through and show everything she's done. Um, but the idea was to build out the different services uh, in this area. So put in all the industry buildings. And then as time goes by, if other cities take on... Uh, functions that is redundant, then we can shut these uh, buildings down, just have, you know, vacant or uh, uh, abandoned warehouses, maybe break some windows or something just silly. Again, have fun with it. Um, just kind of give it that look. I do want to have some functional, just silly functional buildings in here. One idea I have that's going to be fun is I tend to make a Acme Anvil factory. <laughs> so I'm going to be looking into, I've already started doing some playing out in my test world to figure out how I can do an assembly line with uh, the Acme uh, uh, process. So you'll see the ores come in and get turned into uh, uh, anvils and then come out the other side there. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I want to do some more work on the bay here and you know docks and whatnot. So lots to go on. Um, I'm always adding more to my dining list <laughs> that I write off. I did get a few things done. I've been helping out Rurik. I got uh, you know, the basic train line running. God, my computer is just laggy slow. Oh, horrible. Um, but I really haven't had time to really go into my office and see what I've got in the walls and kind of do an audit, if you will, to make sure we've got uh, things caught up here. Because I know there's a couple things on here already that i got to pull off. So I'll get around to that and give you guys an update there. Uh, today, however, uh, I don't want to do a long episode because, again, I'm <laughs> on time. I've got to jump off after this and then get uh, three videos edited. So I'm going to just do a quick little thing here. Head back to Risen here. Um, Ruark got himself a new hat that he's been wearing quite avidly. And it's a, uh, it's a Jester's cap. Uh, you know, this Jester's cap. Not okay. So, we're going to start harassing him just because we can. And, of course, what better way to harass somebody than with a prank? Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to show you a quick little thing I'm going to be doing. And I'm not going to actually do it at Rourke's place on camera because I want to make sure it's hidden so he can suffer a little bit trying to find it. <laughs> uh, this is where the eggs come in, <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, let's go ahead and dump off inventory, make some room here. A wonderful little cramped shop we've been living in for way too long. I need to push that up on priority list when it comes to uh, uh, getting everything moved over to the industrial district because it's been it's been long overdue. All right, so what we are going to do is make ourselves a perpetual a a nice little fun chicken thing here. Uh, got a couple items I need here, so we're going to do uh, red necks. I love red necks so much. A dispenser, a hopper, got some uh, glass cover plates here. And as you can see here, I've got some safari nets with chickens in them, and of course some eggs. The idea is very, very simple. Uh, all you got to do is set yourself up with a dispenser, piece of red net. Oops. Of course, it helps you put the red net in the right place. So we'll go ahead and put a piece of red net right here. Put the red net controller on top. And then all we gotta do is throw a hopper down on top of the dispenser, as I'm sure you can imagine what's coming next here. Uh, whoop. Hop up on top here for a minute. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put that there, and then we're going to go ahead and encapsulate this area for the chickens. Now, as you all know, chickens lay eggs, and when chickens lay eggs on top of a hopper, the hopper collects the eggs. And the hopper has this wonderful little habit of uh, throwing eggs down into whatever it can, in this case, the dispenser. So we're going to go ahead and uh, basically fill up a little cage for our clucking friends. And then what we'll do with our wonderful redneck controller here, we're going to go down to our timer, our square wave. We're going to set it for the highest value we have, which is 255. Now, this is ticks that go by, and again, 20 ticks per second, so you can do the math on that. And then the output is down and white, which is what the uh, exit point is here. So every 255 ticks, this little dispenser is going to go off, and it's going to be full of eggs sitting in there from the wonderful chickens sitting on top, thanks to the hopper. And it's just going to periodically uh, go off. So we'll have you know something in its way to throw the eggs into, if you will. And that will allow the uh, eggs to be launched against there. And if we get lucky, we will have a uh, chicken pop out as a result of them. So that is the hope. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. And of course we have to have signs, because you don't do a prank without leaving a sign. I hate to have that. And, uh, well, I'll be back when I'm done with that. All right, guys, and we're back. I've got uh, everything set up here. The automated logistics poultry object, the ALPO, part of the Warp Tech Co., a subsidiary of the WTB Inc. Uh, everything's uh, set up here. I've got uh, uh, the hopper, the uh, uh, dropper, or sorry, dispenser, etc. All right, up and running. Chickens are doing their job. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and hidden away. Uh, this is on Rook's property. I have my uh, F1 disabled so you can't see the coordinates of the map, so he won't be able to find it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to get this thing, uh, again, covered up, cleaned up, whatnot. And uh, I'll probably leave him a book. Just to make it a little bit easier. There you go, Rue. Have fun. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> and we're back. All right, so I got everything uh, taken care of for the uh, the uh, Alpo system. <laughs> uh, have fun with that, Rourke. <laughs> uh, thank you for your order. I just decided to leave a book from Chickens Daily by Orchester. Thank you for your involuntary membership to Chickens Daily. As a member of our exclusive club, you will have full access to our daily giveaway of chicken. Each chicken is automatically selected and delivered straight to your backyard. But wait, there's more. As a premium Jester member, you will also ship you will also ship you additional eggs at no extra charge. Should you wish to cancel, feel free. Your, <laughs> oops, a little bit, a little bit of typo there. Uh, feel free. Uh, yeah, you're free. Uh, inv <laughs> yeah, you wish to cancel your free inventory. I can't speak today. Wow. If you wish to cancel your free involuntary order. To Chickens Daily, simply submit a public video of you removing your jester hat and making a gentleman's promise to never wear it again. Thank you again for your involuntary patronage. Best regards, Chicken Daily, a property of Warp Media LLC, a subsidiary of Warp of WTB Inc. <laughs> uh, pranks, gotta love them. Yes, yeah, doing such a good job already. Free chickens and free eggs going over here. Look at all these wonderful little cheeky chicks. They do the little huddling over here. Hello, chickies. Hello, chickies. Cluck lots for our... <laughs> All right, guys. That is it for me today. I uh, got to catch up on what's going on, and I uh, got to pull a little prank here. Let's see how, how long it takes Rourke to to uh, figure this one out. Maybe quick, maybe long. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to start harassing him because he's wearing my hat. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as always, I appreciate your time and uh, love having you on. Uh, if you have any uh, any comments, uh, questions, curiosities, etc., please feel free to leave uh, comments down below. Uh, likewise, uh, uh, like always helps me out. It lets me know what you're into and gets me a little bit of uh, page ranking, so to speak, so that we can... Uh, uh, 
get up there and get more people, which is always nice because you get more input. So I always appreciate that. And of course, as always, if you appreciate these videos or any other videos I do, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you'd like to speak at me, uh, comments, you can kind of leave comments down below, but I'll be honest with you, the best way if you want to have a dynamic conversation is go ahead and stop by BottleRocketGaming.com and uh, jump into our uh, forums or feed and uh, see what's going on there and say howdy. Uh, this is a whitelist server, as I said before, and we are kind of geared towards a community as well as YouTubers, so you don't have to be a YouTuber to be on here, but it certainly does help. If you have any interest in joining this wonderful server in this modded environment, please feel free to stop by the BallRocketGaming.com website and go ahead and apply, and we will uh, follow up with you. All right, guys, it's been fun as always, and uh, well, have a nice night. Oh, gosh, the stars are pretty. Thank <laughs> you.